Hello viewers. Welcome once again to my shopping link blog. Today we will discuss about Florida fishing season's calendar. In this video we will focus on tarpon charter season, snook, redfish, cobia, kingfish, Spanish mackerel, crabelly jack, sea trout, goliath grouper, permit, and shark season. Keep watching till to end. Our upcoming video will be on all-inclusive fishing packages. And let's get started but before we begin don't forget to subscribe our channel, and turn on notifications. Now you won't miss any of our new video. Whether you choose to fish on land or by boat, the fishing is can be fast and furious year-round in Florida. But not all saltwater fish are here year-round. Water temperature varies by season, and spawning takes place at certain times of the year motivating fish to migrate with the seasons. Weather also influences fish feeding. Study our regional calendars to learn the best months to catch your favorite saltwater fish species. Let's talk about Florida fishing seasons as per type of fish. First of all tarpon charter season. The tarpon has earned the name Silver King because it has it all. Tarpon are big, beautiful, tough, and acrobatic. Tarpon are a tropical species, and prefer water temperatures in the mid-70s and above. The largest tarpon migration in the world occurs at Boca Grande between April and July as thousands of giant tarpon pour into the pass to feast on the shrimp, crabs, and bait fish flushing out of Charlotte Harbor. Some tarpon are present along the west coast of Florida all year, but since they prefer warm water tarpon seek the shelter of warm water areas in the winter. Small tarpon, in these warm water areas in late January, February, and March. Larger tarpon start to show up in our area in the middle of March and early April depending on the water temperature. The tarpon move offshore to spawn around the full moons of June and July. When they return the tarpon move along the beaches, and into the harbors. Fishing remains excellent until the first cold front in the fall pushes them south. Secondly I will talk about snook fishing season. The common snook is Florida's inshore battler. From the mangrove back country, to the flats, to the passes, and the beaches this inshore brawler is a rock em, sock em, running, jumping handful of fishing excitement. Snook are very temperature sensitive, with 70 degrees being about the low end of their comfort zone. Water temperatures below 60 degrees can kill snook. The cold water of winter really slows the snook fishing on our part of the coast from November to February. Snook charters this time of year is in the warmer water haunts as the fish move into these areas for their survival. Early season snook fishing around creek and river mouths with excellent fishing around the mangroves, and on the flats as the water warms. By the full moon of May the snook have moved to the passes and beaches to spawn and the fishing can be outstanding. The fishing remains excellent all summer, and early fall as these post-spawn snook really turn on the feed bag. Dear viewers step by step we will discuss in our next videos about all fishing information for the fishing enthusiasts. Now I would like to discuss about redfish season. Redfish grow to sexual maturity in the inland bays and marshes the first four years of their life. When redfish reach about 30 inches they move offshore to join the spawning population. Redfish spawn from August to November in the near shore waters. The prime season would be from March through October. But I have exceptional days right through the winter months. The heat of July and August slow things down a bit for redfish, but that's okay because snook season is in full swing. Definitely you are waiting for cobia season. Many people mistake a cobia for a shark the first time the sea one slowly cruising the flats. Their brown body, blunt nose, and flared pectoral fins do look very shark-like. A legal cobia must measure 33 inches from the tip of its nose to the fork of its tail. Key West Harbor and wrecks nearby hold large numbers of these fish December through April. In late March, cobias start moving north toward Daytona Beach and can be found off Jacksonville's coast by June. As our water warms to the high 60s and the bait fish start to return, cobia will soon show up on the flats. Sight fishing for this big brown bruiser is a blast. Comes for the most important kingfish season. King mackerel, or kingfish as they're known in our area migrate through the west central Florida coastal waters twice a year. 
In the spring as the gulf water warms to the high 60s and the bait fish return, the kingfish will be right behind them. The kingfish migrate south in the fall around the middle of October as the water is cool and the follow the bait fish south. The best months for kingfish are late March, April, and May and October, November, and early December. Spanish Mackerel Season Spanish mackerel invade the deep grass beds, beaches and wrecks as the water temperature approaches 70 degrees, and the bait fish return. They are fast, aggressive feeders and are often found by watching for birds diving on busted schools of bait. This can be really exciting fishing for everyone in the family. The kids just love the fast action and pull of these speedsters. The prime months for Spanish mackerel would be from March through May and October through November, although in recent years we have had Spanish mackerel in our waters right through the summer. Let me focus of Prevalley Jack season. This gamester get no respect until the first time you hook into one. Pound for pound Prevalley Jacks are the hardest fighting fish to invade our inshore waters. These fish bring it all and you will often have half a dozen fighting to get to your lure. The fish move offshore to spawn from March to September. They do not require any special rigging so you can react quickly to their appearance. There are some predictable holding waters for these fish from January through March when you can target them specifically. This can be great fly rod and top water action. Another popular season is sea trout season. Sea trout are the most plentiful game fish in our local waters. 18 to 20 inch trout are now quite common and gator trout are increasing in numbers each year. They prefer water between 58 and 81 degrees. May and June can be good but fishing tapers off as the water warms up in July, August, and September. Sea trout are just plain fun to catch. They readily hit baits, jigs, plugs, and flies. When you find the fish the action is steady with several rods all bent at once. Goliath Grouper Season Goliath Grouper are the largest grouper in the West Atlantic. Goliath Grouper live in the inshore water, around docks, and in deep holes and ledges for the first six to seven years of their life. Goliath Grouper have a lifespan of 30 to 50 years, and grow to enormous size. While Goliath Grouper are protected from harvest in Florida waters they're really quite plentiful and will bring even the strongest man to his knees. I fish for these giant goliath grouper from May through July with all fish released at boat side. Now go for permit season. Think you have to go to the Keys to find permit, think again. Not a lot is known about the life cycle of the permit, but it is believed that they move offshore to spawn from about April to July. Strong runs melt line off the reel after hookup as the permit try every trick in the book to cut you off. I fish for permit from late spring to midsummer. Wow! Now it is for shark season. There is probably no more consistent shark fishing for large hammerhead and bull sharks than at Boca Grande, Florida during tarpon season. There are so many sharks in Boca Grande Pass that it is hard to land an early season tarpon without having to contend with sharks. The sharks are so aggressive that I have had them attack tarpon that I am landing right at boat side. The prime shark season at Boca Grande is during the period from May through July when the tarpon are thick in the pass. Thanks for being with us, see you on our next video. To get the latest information subscribe us and click the bell button.